Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. Today we'll see what happens to a GCP project which does not have a owner. Let's get started. Alright, I am in a GCP project uh, where I have purposely named the project name as project with no owner. So which is going to happen in the next few minutes. So just to give you a small confirmation, I have logged in as this user mkumar at learngcpwithmahesh.com. Now if I go to my IAM, and put a filter on basically put a filter basically on groups no groups is there users there's only one user and which is the same user which we have logged in as and also to just to verify and that user is the owner and you can also click on your uh, roles option and you will see I have only one user who is the owner now what happens uh, and everyone knows owner is the highest role which you can have at a project level. So now if that user itself is removed, what happens to this project is what I wanted to show. Uh, basically, I'll put a filter, click on this and remove the user. And this is the screen which you see, which is really a good warning which you get from Google Cloud Platform. Remove yourself from uh, the owner role. So uh, are you... Oh, sorry, are you sure you want to remove yourself as the owner? This may lose access to the project and may no, no may no longer be able to make any policy changes. So I'll be losing this. So this is what is going to happen. So this is why usually people will say you should be part of a group uh, and add at least one or two owners so that you will not lose access. Now if I do this, I'll definitely going to lose access. Let me click on continue. So I'm going to remove myself. That's it. I have no users. So, no owners. Now, if I basically go and refresh my screen, I should have lost access or I will lose access in the few minutes because the propagation takes little time. So, I will lose access. Let me see what happens. I'm just going to refresh the screen a couple of times. And I really literally don't have access to this. So, let me see what is going to happen. I'm expecting uh, you don't have access to this project. That kind of a message is what I'm expecting. Uh, and usually I am roles uh, little takes time to propagate the changes. Let me just verify in my I am role whether I see that or not. Uh, I don't see any users. Same is the case with owner. So any editors, these are all service accounts. So I should have lost access. And if I go to my IAM resource manager, uh, resource pending, I don't see anything. Uh, but I have lo I will definitely lose access. It's not. It's taking time to refresh the changes. Awesome, folks. This is what I wanted to show you. I have lost access basically, and it took time. So. Uh, basically the IAM changes little takes time uh, at least in the user interface I have seen it takes little time to propagate now I literally don't have any access I don't have any access uh, to my project so even if I go to my org node I will not have access to any of the project because I have deleted myself as the owner so that's the video which I wanted to share so if you don't have any owner to that project it's literally like you cannot access it it's going to be going to get shut down so hope the video is helpful. Thank you for watching.